Today we're going to be replacing the thermostat on a four-cylinder Honda Accord. The thermostat is responsible for controlling the engine coolant flow as the car warms up. The first thing you're going to want to do is drain the coolant. So we're going to pop off the radiator cap. Caution! Never work on your cooling system when the radiator is hot. And then you're going to come underneath the vehicle where this drain port is and position your drain pan underneath. And then we're going to go down to the bottom of the radiator here with this petcock valvius and loosen it and the coolant will start to drain out. And we're going to go ahead and wait until all the coolant is drained out. Now once all of the coolant is drained out, we can go ahead and close the radiator pet cock valve. Alright, let's see how much coolant we pulled out. So the thermostat is located on the front of the engine block where the lower radiator hose goes into the engine block. There's three 10 millimeter bolts, one down here, one over here, and one on the side here. They need to be removed. Now the first thing you're going to do is remove this alternator wire to get that out of the way. Alright, then we're going to come in and remove this clip that goes around the lower radiator hose. Then remove the lower radiator hose. Here's a closer look at the thermostat with the lower radiator hose out of the way and the three 10 millimeter bolts that need to be removed. All right, I've got my 10 mil socket with extension on the lower right 10 millimeter bolt. All right, I've got my socket and extensions on the top bolt. All right, I've got my socket extension on the left side bolt. So I'm just removing the last bolt here and the thermostat housing should pop right off. Make sure you have a catch can underneath to catch any remaining coolant. This here is a thermostat, it's a unitized style where it's part of the housing. If you look down inside of here, you can see the jiggle valve. It's also got a gasket here that should be replaced. I bought one from Felpro, but it's not the right one, so I'm going to have to reuse my old one. And this here is where the thermostat sits on the engine block. You can see the three bolts there. Before reinstalling the gasket, you're going to want to use a cloth with a little bit of brake cleaner on it to make sure that the mounting surface is nice and clean and it's going to seal properly. Next, I'm going to go ahead and replace the thermostat into the engine block. And once it's in position, I can start threading in the three 10 millimeter bolts. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the thermostat bolts. And then I'm going to torque these down to 86 inch pounds using a torque wrench. Once the thermostat's been torqued down, we can then go ahead and replace the lower radiator hose. And then replace this safety clip here. Don't forget to plug in the alternator plug. And then we're going to refill the radiator with a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water. Don't forget to refill the overflow reservoir. Alright, with the coolant refilled, we're going to go ahead and start the engine. All right, we're going to let the vehicle warm up for a couple of minutes. You might see some air bubbles popping through the radiator. That indicates that the system is self-bleeding as there's no pressure on it without a radiator cap. And then we're going to check near the thermostat area to make sure that there's no leaks coming from the thermostat housing. So we're going to idle the vehicle until it reaches operating temperature. We're going to turn the heater over to the hot side and then turn the fan to the highest temperature. You're going to want to keep the radiator cap off to bleed the coolant until there's no more bubbles coming through and the radiator fans are turned on. Finally, we're going to double check the level of the engine coolant and then take the vehicle for a test drive.